right, it is um, February 17th, 2022. Now this is really interesting. Here's for symbolism this morning. Um, where's my pen? I turned on the See the BS this morning. Um, and here is Nashville, Tennessee. I've never visited. Um, Exit Realty had a conference down there. Um, I didn't have enough money to go. I really would have loved to have gone, but I didn't have enough money um, to go down that year. Um, I went to the Washington, D.C., and I went to Las Vegas. But the year that they were in Nashville, Tennessee, I didn't have money to go. Um, see the symbol? It says AT&T, and it has some um, circle. I don't know the significance. I don't know any of this landscape. See the BS? I have not in this physicality being withheld from whom to whom I need. I have not been able to travel. I If I went to Nashville, I'd have no idea where to go, who to visit. I don't know their history. I know nothing about Nashville. I know that they have a lot of musicians, like really great voices of which I don't have any at this point. I used to love to sing. Now I can't because my vocal cords have changed in the pressure graphing. Um, but here's what happens. I'm in century 20, year 22. Um, and the story that follows this image is what they've done. They have some education plan. Um, now here's the thing. The, the things that this gentleman or this, this man or whatever word you want to give for his whatever in this scenario, because I know words matter, but not for this purpose. This is just a, this is the way it looks and the way that they're behaving as humans. So um, this human uh, is, well, I can already tell you, he's better educated than I am because he's able to work in a school and he's teaching material that he has access to that I don't have access to. He has access to vocabulary, vernacular, and the ability to teach the next generation. I don't have the same luxury. Just so we're all clear. This morning we're learning about one potential solution to the nationwide teacher shortage. Tennessee has pioneered a teacher residency program where teaching candidates are able to work full time in the classroom while pursuing their degree. Meg Oliver shows us how the first of its kind program is a win for future teachers and schools. Now, what this shows me is there's a lapse in proper health, like proper home care for the generation before, which is a, a decimal. It is a like pinpoint to project future, but you have to look backwards because there was a problem going in to this generation that caused the gap that caused the changeover, which goes back to the poisoning of the last home team that was already here. Now, my problem is, is that, see this woman? There is a woman by the name of, that go, that go, that beseeched me to my face. I don't know what her real name is. I have no way of looking up her birth papers or her toilet paper. But she said to me her name was, looks something like that, Gina, G-I-N-A. And she was married to something called a George, G-E-O-R-G-E. Uh, -E. um, this is the false king that made it onto a calendar within my life frame. Uh, these two people gained access to me through my relationship with Maria, M-A-R-I-A. Also, a little lighter skinned than this, but within the same categorical significance. Um, Gina said to me when I was little, because Mike, M-I-K-E, 
Maria's father. Also, not this. He's a little, he's a sidestep to whatever area this is um, in a color scale. And he said that he also, by the way, has sickle cell anemia. So that just lets you know categorically where he's at. Um, so he said uh, that Gina and George were Maria and Donna's half-sibling. That he had had a previous marriage to a Puerto Rican. I don't remember that ever being introduced as a Puerto Rican. I just don't. I've met other Puerto Ricans. They don't look at anything like that. Uh, but again, everybody's beseeching me and I'm holding a pen. <laughs> so I need to get to a man with a Sharpie and hold a pencil and then I'll feel a little more comfortable. Um, so anyhow, so uh, Gina says to me when I was little, now had me captive for the weekend in their home. They called it a sleepover. Linda and Lou allowed it. Apparently the humans do that in this area. They give their children over. I never did, but they give their children over. Um, unless my children were in a group, they did not go sleep over anyone's house. Um, my children, I very rarely split up. They were each other's guardians and witnesses in this crazy whatever. Uh, me, an only child, and a little more difficult and situational. Um, so I went over to their house and... Uh, Gina says one day that um, they are a different king than my king, um, but they're, they're hoping that my people will get to know them and then like them and enjoy their company. And I looked her straight in the face and I go, I don't understand what that means. And she just smiled. She said, I know you don't. Now, if that's not their insidious intent, I mean, didn't put their hands on me. It was just a conversation. But these are some of the lesser known tactics that they've used to creep up in this area and install features and destruct others and carry forward with generational time, which gets disorienting and dysphoric. All right, here we go. An hour north of Nashville, Tennessee, at Kenwood Middle School. The primary wave and the secondary wave. Now, primary and secondary wave. Not one of my children educated in New York has ever even heard those words. Also, he's talking about seismic. I never heard those words, and I'm pretty sure Linda has never heard those words in a school setting. But yet this man not only knows what these words are, but is so adept in his... And, and courageous and knowledgeable about this little nugget of information, he's actually able to teach it forward to other children. While me, my register of knowledge has been completely robbed clean or robbed blind. Robbed blind is really, because it's the till that they hit and then it becomes an until when. Now, it also says growing future teachers, meaning this gentleman or this man or this. Actually, it's not, it's not a man. It's a human. It's what's here. I have to label it somehow, and I'm not having an argument with other things holding ink. Um, then it says TN residency program trains new teachers and combats that's exactly what this looks like to me not that he's a batman because <laughs> that's a whole nother argument since i'm a Catwoman. but batman a uh, combat would be indicative of some form of communicational communal communist problem that's been on the rise 
And since the senior section seems to be divided and split somehow, and now a USA arose out of nowhere, and I, <laughs> I get papers that, I got one family paper that says America's unrest in some kind of cryptic form that confuses, because in some instances, this would be called a British by the standards of what they're explaining to themselves. But in my world, this would never be called British, ever. Because it's not of the land of Brittany. It's not of Britannia. It's just not. Dimitri's wind tries to explain seismic waves to this eighth grade class. All right, so we know it's 830 because this is our 830 block. So now they're Two learning ago, the this. The 42-year-old father of four spent his days mopping floors as a school custodian. It's definitely been a change. Do you feel it's a calling? Oh, definitely. Definitely it's a calling. Um, because like I said, it was... Do you know how many people like this are in Rikers just waiting to get out, have the same opportunity, and I can't even get my hands on the knowledge of what I should be learning to get into a school to teach the children the things that they need. I'm not even afforded the same opportunity. I don't understand how this is working. Really, I don't. I walked on the boulevard today, and there's some guy who worked at Rikers, he said, a meeting with another man, and the man was like, Buongiorno! He doesn't speak English, but he speaks Italian, or that's what it sounds like. Uh, and I'm like, well, here we are in, en Francais. Bonjour. Italiano, buongiorno. It's a slight difference, but same management requirements. It was something I wanted to do, just didn't know how it was going to happen. It all started in 2018, facing a lack of diversity and a growing teacher shortage. See, it feels like it's, I swear to God, it feels like I woke up to Couch Potato with Lou Lynn and the dumbass computer. And it's like the person who's supposed to be driving the car and there's only one seat was like, oh, no, no, I don't have to leave room for my daughter. Let me just open the door and take other people's kids in and let them take her seat while she stands outside. That's really what it feels like. Do you see the light above my head? I mean, I can't even sit and record a video because the UV outside, it's bone density, like, disappearing. Do they call that polodium yet? in radi radiological technology. Just curious. Some form of gamma x-ray waves. It's really frightening. The entire world is washed away behind my head at the moment because of all of this whatever's going on in the territory that I'm being held within. While I have a man with a Sharpie, I'm his lady with a pencil, and the only thing that ever mattered was Io Mi Io. Clarksville Montgomery School District launched an innovative teacher residency program, recently registered as the first of its kind in the country. Sean Impertris is their chief academic officer. If you didn't have this program. And the other thing is, like, there's, there is a question at some point, like, who pays the bills? Like, what is paying the bills and whom? Why are there things in this territory and this area within my life frame that doesn't pay our bills, a family being myself and my children, <coughs> but yet are coming in with all these expectations and they also are not paying the bills. Like the big bills, like the monetary bill fund. They're not even slightly contributing because what they're doing is making it worse. By bringing out home computers and handheld devices in this gigantic process, they, it is like an unlimited 
tap causing uncontrolled electricity, which was what was over my head, some form of it anyway. It's star 1978. It's star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. It is Earth, solar system, Milky Way universe, galaxy is broken. I'm currently at like death star level of concerned in Bayside Station with dead city galaxy on the diet menu and plate at the moment. I have a nutritional necessity, yet I don't know what to do about it.